One of my greatest Christmas memories was when I was about six years old, we were downstairs opening the presents, my sisters and myself, and all of a sudden my dad calls us over to the fireplace and he says, girls, look. We walked over to the fireplace and he pointed and in the ashes was a footprint. It was the big guy's footprint. It was Santa Claus's footprint. And from that point on, I was a believer. Santa Claus was the real deal and I believe to this day. Christmas morning was a lesson in patience for me. I had to wait until my grandfather got out of bed, had his breakfast, before I could go see if I had any presents under the tree. It was painful. I can remember years where I'd wait four and five hours for my grandfather to walk out of bed, get his breakfast, so we could go see if we had any presents. It was tough, but I learned patience. I learned a lot of patience Christmas morning. When I was about probably six or seven, I, I thought Santa Claus had way too many cookies because he got them at every single house. So I decided to leave Santa mints that year instead of cookies. And the coolest thing, the next morning I woke up, Santa had left me a note thanking me for those mints, telling me he got way too many cookies. And of course the note was signed, Love Santa. And I cherish that. I kept that note. I think I still have it today. I was in the first grade. I had seven brothers and sisters, and Santa Claus came, and I woke up in the middle of the night, came downstairs, and opened every one of my presents. But I wasn't done. I just kind of had the Christmas fever, and I opened every present in the house. And uh, I went back to bed after I played with them all night. My brothers and sisters woke me up crying, and that was the year Billy spoiled Christmas for everybody. My brothers and sisters never, ever let me forget it. I was always terrified of Santa. It seems every picture I ever had made with him, I had big tears just running down my eyes. My folks would always give us an ornament. Then when we all got married and moved out, it also gave us a lot of ornaments to put on our first Christmas tree so it wasn't, you know, just absolutely bare. Mom and Dad would not let any of me and my brothers open up our Christmas presents until after we had a full breakfast. That was rough. Christmas is uh, one of my favorite times of the year because of family. Uh, I'm the youngest of six, have a very large family, love to be surrounded by family. Of course, we always get together at Christmas time and uh, spend that quality time together. It's a very, very fun part of the year for me. My favorite Christmas memory was when I was seven years old, my sister was one and I opened all of her presents for her, but she didn't like that too much and she started screaming at the video camera. Now every Christmas we get around and we watch that old piece of video. We would go to bed really early because somehow we thought that going to bed early would make us sleep through the night and morning would come a lot faster. So we'd wake up at sunrise and go to the Christmas tree and open up the presents and it was always just fun Christmas memories. One of my favorite presents I ever got was uh, skis, boots, and poles, but I think the best part about that whole thing was my outfit, bright green ski pants, bright orange and green ski jacket. I think you could see me anywhere on the slopes. Back when we were kids, mom sewed everything. She made our Christmas stockings, but uh, best part of it all, she made our outfits that we would wear Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, and we always matched. <laughs> 